What's up, I'm Jad T. Jones. Today I'm gonna show you how to think your way into your dream relationship with your dream girl. Most people don't think. Most people think they think, but when you hear what they say and you watch their actions, it reveals that they're not really thinking at all. Earl Nightingale said, a lot of people would rather die than think. So, what does all this mean? Everyone thinks that they think, because all day you're thinking, you're worrying, you're, you know, solving things in your head, but that's not really thinking. So first of all, let's talk about how to think properly and how to unlock the genius within you, because what you're, you're living right now in a, game, in a game, in a life that is dictated by how smart you are and how intelligent the decisions you make are. Okay, so you got to make the right decisions to get ahead and to get your dream girl and your dream relationship and just to be successful as a man. So the way to think is actually to think on paper. So what does that mean? That means you need to focus on one topic at hand. Okay, what's a problem I'm having? What's something I need to solve? What's something that's worrying me? What's something, you know, and you, you get one topic and you focus on it and then you get a pen and a paper and you sit down and you think things through on paper. Now, thinking on paper can also be done on a typewriter or on a computer, okay? But we're gonna just call it, we're just gonna call it thinking on paper, but that could include your thinking on a typewriter or on a computer keyboard, okay? So you sit down, you turn off all distractions, you create a time block. A time block means for the next one hour, I'm not looking at my phone, I'm not answering any messages, I'm not focusing on anything, I'm not multitasking, I'm simply writing, I'm, I'm writing out, I'm, I'm, I'm following the thoughts on paper, okay? When you think through things on paper, here's what happens. When, we're, when we put pen to paper and we start writing and focusing on a problem, say, okay, this is the problem, how can I solve it? Okay, here are some ideas I have. Here's where I'm struggling. And you start doing that. What happens is you unlock a part of your unconscious mind, your subconscious mind. And your subconscious mind is connected to infinite intelligence. What is infinite intelligence? This is spoken about in Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich. Infinite intelligence is, there is an infinite intelligence presence that is all permeating and ever present everywhere at all times in the ether. Okay, so it's here. It's right here. We can't see it, but we can tap into it. We can access it. All the answers there ever were and ever will be are present here now in infinite intelligence. And infinite intelligence is present, ever present, absolute, everywhere at all times. So when you're thinking on paper, you're accessing your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind has access to infinite intelligence. And so by thinking on paper and thinking things through in a focused manner, what you're doing is you're tapping, you're, you're kind of like opening the, the door to infinite intelligence and you start getting an answers. It starts bringing in the answers. Have you ever heard um, uh, of the saying like, look within for, for the answers? You know, if you want the answers, look within. This is what they're talking about. So by thinking on paper, putting pen to paper, or even, you know, on the computer journaling, what you're doing is you're gaining access to the answers that are already present in infinite intelligence. So do you see how this is different from what everyone calls thinking? When you're sitting there and you're doing the dishes and then you're going driving your car and you're at the gym and then you're walking down the street and you're thinking, oh yeah, I need to get this woman thing handled. Oh, I want my uh, dream girl. Oh, I'm scared of this and I can't get, you know, you think you're thinking, that's not thinking, that's worrying. Okay, let's say that again. That's not thinking, that's worrying. To think is to unlock your genius. Your genius actually isn't yours. Your genius is you accessing infinite intelligence where all the answers already exist. And when you sit down, focused, uninterrupted, focused on one problem, one issue, pen to paper, that's when you start getting the answers, that's when the plans start coming, and that's when you get clarity and you, you know what to do next, okay? So, personally for me, I start most days 
thinking on paper. Okay, I wake up, I get my coffee, and I sit down, I have an electronic key, um, not keyboard, typewriter, okay? And I sit down and I journal. I actually, I do like paper and uh, electronic typewriter. I do both, right? Something on the typewriter, something on the paper. Sometimes I draw things. And when I do that, I access my genius. I access this, these answers and plans that I wasn't, like I didn't know before, right? But I'm like, please, I need a plan for this. Hey, I'm having trouble with this area of my life. I need a solution. I need a plan. I need to see clearly. Where am I not seeing clearly? This is where I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? What am I doing wrong that I'm not aware that I'm doing wrong? All these things, right? And I journal, journal, write, write. Maybe sketch some stuff. And then the answers start coming and coming and coming and coming. And then that allows me to be kind of smarter than other people because I'm thinking where other people are not thinking. You understand? So coming back, this game of life is a, is a cerebral game. It's like a mental game now. Who can make the better decisions, the better moves? That depends on how good you can think. So if your life with women isn't working right now, part of the reason, part of the root cause is you're not thinking. Let me give you an example. A guy will come to me and he'll say, Jad, I've been trying to get this woman thing handled. I really want it handled. But, you know, it's just not working. And I look at him and I'm like, okay, so you really want this handled and, you know, you're desperate to get this handled. Okay. And I'm looking at you. Your style is shit. Okay. You're out of shape. Um, I ask you, what do you do in your spare time? You, you know, you're eating junk food, watching porn. You're being lazy. You're not being disciplined. Okay. How can you tell me that you're thinking if on one side you're saying, I want to get a girl and on the other side... You're out of shape, you're undisciplined, you're not going after your purpose, and you're not even preparing yourself for your opportunity. How can you tell me you're thinking when you're behaving like this when you want this? That shows us, that's evidence, okay? And I know for some of you, I'm uh, you know, holding up that mirror and right now you're like, oh shit, that's me, okay? This is good to realize something about yourself, okay? So stick with me, don't click away, don't be a little bitch, face this, okay? So... That's evidence you're not thinking. If you would sit down and think, okay, well, why am I single? Why aren't girls attracted to me? Okay, oh, well, maybe I got to upgrade my style at least. Oh, maybe I got to upgrade my body. Oh, maybe I got to get on purpose. Oh, maybe I got to start getting disciplined. Oh, maybe I st got to start being a kind of guy that has something going for him so women see something in me. Okay? So that's an example of how a lot of people aren't thinking. They're just like watching videos and being lazy and expecting to get a girl. It's not gonna happen. So, when I think on paper, I don't always get the full plan and the full answer in one session. Sometimes I think on paper for a whole week until the whole plan emerges, all the answers emerge, and I get this clear insight. Insight means, ah, oh, it's a kind of like an awakening. It's like, oh, I see the full picture now, and I get it, right? So you're going to have to think on paper for more than just one day. Some sessions, like a few days ago, I had a session that lasted, I think, like four hours. Okay, I was planning to do 25 minutes, it lasted four hours because it was just, it's kind of like downloading, right? It's like kind of like, um, like a guru or a master coming in and telling you all this stuff and you're like, oh, damn, I realized this about myself. Oh, I realized this about myself. Oh, here's a great idea. Oh, here's the plan that I need to do that I wasn't doing. Oh, and I realized this about myself. Oh, stupid. And then, you know. So sometimes my sessions go like four hours, three hours, you know, just downloading wisdom, information from infinite intelligence, which permeates and penetrates the interspaces of the universe. It's here now in the ether right here. You can tap into it by thinking on paper. So what you want to do to become a smarter man, to think your way into your dream relationship with your dream woman, sit down every morning for 20 minutes or more, Think on paper every day, back to back to back, and you're going to get realizations. You're going to get plans. You're going to get answers. You're going to get solutions. You're going to get the path revealed to you. All right? So be that rare man who actually thinks. Okay? Remember what Earl Nightingale said. Most people would rather die than think. What does that mean? People are lazy ass motherfuckers. They'd rather blame the world and make excuses rather than take responsibility and do the hard things. Is sitting down, focused for periods of time every day, thinking on paper, difficult? Yeah. But 
who do you want to be in life? You want to be a winner? You want to not be a winner? Okay, I won't use that other word, all right? Do you want to be smarter than the average guy or do you want to be down here, the guy who's going through the world not really thinking things through? You got to think things through. You need to think to win the game. You got to outthink all the other guys out there to win the game. You want to be a top dog? You got to be a top thinker. How do you do that? Think on paper, get access to all the wisdom, the infinite intelligence, and you'll be on your way. Make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.